All right, welcome everybody to another one of our homeschool gym class arm wrestling videos. Today we're going to talk about isometrics and plyometrics. We do those in the evening and in, in the morning. We do all our full rep work. Uh, arm wrestler, you could almost build a complete workout with just isometrics and plyometrics if you do them correctly. Now, this will be one of our first demonstration videos. All right, let's take the reverse wrist curl as an example. A lot of folks will say, if they do a reverse wrist curl and they stop it right here and they hold it, they think they're doing isometrics. They go, I'm training my static holds. I'm doing isometrics. This is not true. If you are just holding this weight just like this, you're not actually doing an isometric. You're just doing a really, really slow negative. What you're basically doing is just preventing that weight from falling. So that's like an eccentric only motion. Eccentric motions make you sore. We don't do a lot of them here. We don't like them. If you want to do an isometric, what you have to be doing is you got to be contracting your muscles against a force that's not uh, against an object that's not moving. So the simplest way to do that on a reverse wrist curl: chain your bar to the floor. Okay? So now when I do the isometric, I'm going to be lifting the 45 pounds that's in the bar, plus I'm going to keep this chain tight. Now, which means I'm putting more than 45 pounds of force into my arms. I don't exactly know what it is. In this case, I've got a chain to 90 pounds. So I'm doing uh, up to 135 pounds of force. If the plates come off the floor, I'm risk curling over 135. I'm not wrist curling over 135. So here, the isometric would be normal wrist curl until that chain gets tight. You hold that. We uh, homeschool gym class, we hold it for a count of five, and then we let it down. So we'll start there. We'll do three sets of a count of five. Then we change the chain length to either let the chain come up higher or lower, do another set of three times five, so on and so forth like that. Do them in the evening. Isometrics are nice because it's a way of training at maximum force without doing full reps. So you don't add a lot of body weight. So you people still have to cut weight to make weight classes. You can train your arms this way. You can train your squat, your bench press, your rows, your deadlift. You can do all the major lifts with isometrics. And you don't put on a lot of body weight. The, oh, I say one more thing. Isometrics, I think, are a good way of building endurance because it teaches you to develop that high force, anaerobic, just force. But it does hurt some of your uh, your ability, your speed, and maybe your flexibility. So it's a really good way of getting locked into position, not a really good way to have all kinds of options of dancing out of things and that sort of stuff, you know. So it can hurt your uh, your agility. Plyometrics is a way of, once again, generating a high amount of force for a short period of time. And in this case, when we do speed day, we do plyometrics with the ballistic lifting. Remember, we got the bands on, and as the weight goes down, we fire back into it. So in that time where we're reversing the direction of the weight, for very brief, you know, fractions of a second, we're, uh, we're generating very high amounts of force, higher than the static weight. You can do the same on plyometrics, except this way, we're going to get the weight moving, the chain's going to get tight, another high acceleration as that velocity comes to zero, very short period of time, very big spike in force. So, and a plyometric would look like this, again, with a reverse wrist curl. Alright? So, the wrist curl is the 45 pounds in the bar, when the chain gets tight, instantaneously, it, go, it adds another 90 pounds. Normally, if I just chain this right to the floor, or you know, I, uh, or to my power rack, then the weight wouldn't stop at 90, it would be whatever the yield stress of the chain is, hundreds of pounds. Um, one more topic, I know it wasn't on the agenda. Oh, look at that, ha! Broke my carabiner. Plyometrics, high rates of force. Uh, when you're training biceps, triceps, we mentioned in the earlier video, we like the bobbly weights. So instead of just hanging the weights on the bar like you normally would at your gym, 
hang them with your bungee cords. So now when you're doing your full reps on the reverse curl, you can see that those weights are shaking around. So what it, what it forces you to do is not only are you doing the reverse curl to train your arms like you want, it's also forcing you to stabilize the weight. Because when you're arm wrestling somebody, you don't get to just apply your force in one linear motion, right? The other guy's shaking and moving around, so this is a good way of developing the ability to control and react to a moving weight. Other than that, that should cover isometrics, plyometrics, and bobbly weights. Mm -hmm.